Korea Technology Industry America is taking bold steps in energy development, refining America's tar sand reserves. KTIA is a wholly owned subsidiary of Korea Technology Industry Company Limited, a world leader in protein biochip and information technology development. KTIA's mission is the next step, utilizing proprietary technology to extract heavy oil from the richest tar sand deposit in America, located in Vernal, Utah. It is a proven process, but at the same time, because we're in the United States, there are environmental rules. What we've deployed in our process is it actually treats the water in such a way we don't create tailing spawns, which in turn benefits the environment. KTIA's proprietary AST process allows for both the recycling of water and the return of clean sand to the mining site. For the first time, America's tar sands can be extracted with a minimum impact on the environment and a lower carbon footprint. This is a great project for UNA County. We're, we're very excited about it. Uh, um, in our area, we have a lot of energy. We have a lot of natural gas. We have oil shale. We have these oil sands or tar sands. And uh, so this is, a, this is important to our economy. Um, about 50% of the jobs in our area are oil and gas related. And so um, this is a very important project. We're, we're very appreciative of the project. And that is what is called a winning combination. Good for both the economy and the environment. KTIA's bold steps in energy extraction helps the economy in both short and long term. We're doing our part, getting the world economy moving again now. And KTIA's extended vision of product development will help the economy for years to come. KTIA will be producing three products at the Asphalt Ridge facility that will be put to work in a wide range of daily uses in America and all over the world. Generally, there are three main products that can come out of the overall slip. The first product is asphalt. We are going to pr produce two different types of asphalt, one which we call the NPA1 and the other the NPA2. Both asphalts, we believe, will be a very high use in the existing asphalt markets. The usage of NPA1 would enable the community to build and continue building their road projects. We also have another product called the NPA2, which is a much more premium asphalt, one which we believe by refining the bitumen, we would be able to strip out the lighter ends and uh, produce a very high-grade premium asphalt that can be used not only as asphalt modifiers, but also as the uh, premium asphalt road base uh, that can be shipped not only in Utah, but also in, in, in states in Colorado, Nevada, Arizona, Wyoming, and Idaho. Our third product is the VGO, or the vacuum gas oil, which comprises about 20% of our bitumen. The VGO uh, is a light crude, which can be sold to refineries uh, that can be taken and cracked into a much better uh, finished product. We expect our light crude to be a very high grade uh, premium oil that can be used for jet fuel in the future. KTIA's Asphalt Ridge products will be used in the creation of everyday items from roads to roof shingles. They can also be used to build large-scale, high-grade asphalt products like highways, racetracks, and even airport runways. And someday they could be used to create plastics and various petrochemical products that create greater value than the oil itself. KTIA's products provide an opportunity for a return on investment based on the changing energy and product needs of a growing world. KTIA has upgraded the Utah-based operation in many ways, and to help show us is Senior Project Engineer Burke Adams. I'm standing here at the Asphalt Ridge Oil Sands Deposit, which runs for about 17 miles along this ridge. We're standing in the heart of that deposit, and the, the entire deposit contains about 160 million barrels of recoverable oil. Adjacent to the mine is our extraction facility. The oil sands extraction process begins at this location. Oil sands ore is delivered by trucks to this area where it's delivered to a feeder breaker. The feeder breaker breaks down the oil sands into smaller sized particles. Once it goes across the feeder breaker, which will be located at this position, it drops onto a conveyor. That conveyor conveys the ore to the top of the conditioning structure, which is located at this position over here. 
The oil sands comes from the conveyor and it drops down into this chute where the hot water is first introduced. At this point, we begin to make a slurry with the oil sands and the slurry is made in this machine which is called the blade mill. The blade mill contains two grinding screws which reduces the size of the oil sands down into smaller particle sizes which are easier to handle. The oil sand slurry drops onto our vibrating screen where the oversized material is then taken for crushing and recycling back into the front of the process. The undersized material drops into the sand heater. The slurry from the undersize of the screen drops into the sand heater where it's heated with hollow flight screws to 180 degrees and prepares it for the conditioning tanks which are located right here below me. The conditioning tank contains a large agitator. As the slurry comes down into the conditioning tank, the agitator imparts a lot of mechanical energy to provide shear which allows the extra heavy oil to be separated from the slurry. Once the oil sands have been conditioned, it's ready for the heavy oil to be separated. The heavy oil is separated by floating the heavy oil to the top of the primary separation tank. You can see that the primary separation tank is being constructed right here. In that tank, the slurry is introduced to the vessel the heavy oil is floated to the top and it overflows the top of the tank. The sand and water flows to the bottom of the tank and it's pumped to the area where the water can be recovered and removed and recycled back into the process. So the middling stream comes out of the primary separation tank. The middlings contains water and clay and some heavy oil that hasn't floated to the top of the middlings tank. The middlings is then taken to the secondary flotation cell where air is added in that cell and allows the heavy oil to float to the top of the flotation cell. The water in the clay is then pumped to the thickener. The froth from the PST and the SST overflow the vessels and need to be deaerated before they can be pumped. It flows into the deaerating vessel, which uses steam to strip and remove the air bubbles from the froth. The water and sand from the bottom of the PST is pumped to the first sand classifier. In that classifier, water is removed from the sand and overflows the back of the classifier. The sand is conveyed up the classifier into the second classifier. When it drops off of the second classifier, it goes onto the tailings collection conveyor and is returned back to, the back, back to the mine. The solids and water contaminants are removed in the AST process by adding a solvent to the extra heavy oil. When that solvent is added to the extra heavy oil, it allows the viscosity to be reduced. Then it's settled in a large vessel by gravity, which allows the solids and water to separate to the bottom and the heavy oil and solvent is removed at the top of the vessel. That heavy oil and solvent is then taken and the solvent is recovered in a solvent recovery process. Behind me is the atmospheric distillation unit and the vacuum distillation unit. In the atmospheric distillation unit, the solvent is recovered and recycled in the process. The heavy oil that's re recovered from the atmospheric distillation unit then goes into the vacuum distillation unit where vacuum gas oils, diesel, and other distillates are recovered and a primary asphalt product is produced. KTIA is finishing work on the production facility and plans to begin operations in 2010, becoming the first commercially viable oil sands extractor in the United States. The Asphalt Ridge Energy Project is a step into the future for all of us. An efficient 98% extraction process from a state-of-the-art facility produces three products that can be turned into many practical items. KTIA and their proprietary AST process will help create the energy infrastructure of the future. A three-tiered product manufacturing structure that is not only on the cutting edge, but grounded in the principles that give you a maximum return on investment. We are familiar in Uintah County 
with these tar sands and the high quality of tar sands that they are. And, and it's an extremely good product. And uh, uh, so this is an advantage to have, to have this here for us locally and the state and the region. And I believe, frankly, as, as this product becomes available and as people begin to learn the secret of the quality of this product, uh, they're going to want to have that as far as it's economically feasible for them to, to be able to obtain it. So um, this is just very valuable all the way around. Potential of this business is immense. We see not only the imminent, the immediate usages of this asphalt for, for road paving or for our bitumen oil for future refinery use, there are further extents at which this product can be commercialized at a much more significant value. The business itself is very attractive, the doors are wide open. It is our opportunity to show the world that the U.S. has sufficient unconventional resources that can be utilized even today and will be a resource that will be available in the next 20 to 30 years. We are here to do our best. It is very exciting. We feel this to be the best opportunity that has come around this decade. We, we want to capitalize on this project and keep moving forward. We have all the support from the government. The economy is taken right up for us. We believe and we are very confident that this will succeed in 2010 and onwards.